Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Young here and welcome to another Evil Within news update. There's been a lot of information and screenshots revealed about this game from sources of all countries throughout these past few days. I have compiled everything in one neat video, but I do recommend you watch my previous Evil Within news update since I'll only be talking about new information I haven't covered yet. Anyways, without further ado, let's dive right into it. First things first, let's talk a bit about the 25 minutes demo of the game shown to media outlets. The first one to give their impressions was IGN, and I've already done full coverage on it, so again, be sure to check out my previous videos. The same demo was shown to a few other European outlets, and by watching this demo and through interviews with the mastermind himself, they managed to reveal little bits of extra information here and there. First, the demo itself was actually running on current generation assets, despite running on a PC. Fortunately, Famitsu has confirmed very recently that the game is in development for PlayStation 4 and also likely for the Xbox 720, so don't worry folks, the game will feature next generation graphics. They also mentioned that the game will not feature any sort of multiplayer of any kind, so no co-op. The game will remain purely single player, and thank fuck for that. Now, there will be certain moments in which characters come together to defeat enemies, but for the most part, players will be facing horrible things alone. Comments were also made about user interface, which was so minimal, it was practically non-existent, save for a sliver of health at the bottom of the screen, and small weapon icons showing limited amounts of ammo. For interaction with objects and the environment, word labels for objects fade in and out as needed. Furthermore, players will be using a easy-to-access circular inventory system to switch back and forth between items and equipment. Finally, we are given details on the visuals and sound of the game. In terms of sound, music was scarce, allowing the atmosphere to speak for itself. Furthermore, according to Shinji Mikami, sound will be used to signal events and information, and will play a vital role in fighting certain enemies that can be heard but not seen. In terms of visuals, lighting has become one of Shinji Mikami's main focus. He doesn't reveal too much information, but do expect to be scared shitless when lights go out all of a sudden. Sebastian himself also gives players certain visual cues. For example, when there are enemies nearby, Sebastian will begin to move more carefully in a crouch-like position. This crouching position will also help with sneaking past enemies, but essentially Sebastian will move differently based on situations he finds himself in. In terms of camera, the game will feature the familiar Resident Evil 4 style over the shoulder. In terms of cinematography, the game will run in a cinematic aspect ratio of 2.35 by 1, so even with a 16 by 9 display, black bars will be present, but players can expect to have a wider viewing angle. Shinji Mikami's goal is to make the game as cinematic as possible to enhance the horror without compromising gameplay. Next, let's talk about information revealed through Famitsu. First and foremost, it is revealed that the Japanese title of the game is not The Evil Within, but Psycho Break, kind of like how Resident Evil is Biohazard in Japan. According to Shinji Mikami, Psycho Break is just easier for Japanese people to pronounce. We are also given names of the main characters. The name of the protagonist is Detective Sebastian Castellanos, and his partners are Joseph Oda and Julie Kidman nicknamed Kid. We get a look at all three characters through screenshots and photos. Shinji Mikami's goal is to make these characters strong-willed. He doesn't want any of his principal characters to be the type to break down and suffer psychological damage or something. He's not a fan of those helpless types since they make him think, just die already. Wow, that's kind of fucked up, man. But I totally feel him. This doesn't mean the characters will be emotionless puppets. They will be afraid, but he wants to create brave characters that players will cheer on to overcome their conflicts and horrors. Famitsu's interview with Shinji Mikami also yields similar information to what's been previously said in other media outlets regarding his goal with the overall game. He intends to revive the survival horror genre. He wants to make sure this game is about surviving, not about action. He also states that unlike his previous work in which he prioritized gameplay over story, The Evil Within will make story as important as gameplay, making these two elements much more closely interwoven than ever before. Finally, here are some new screenshots leaked from German website PCGames.de. Here we get another look at Sebastian somewhere inside the asylum. To be more precise, this is the exact same place from this IGN screenshot in which Sebastian encounters Spider Alma. Next up, we have a screenshot of Joseph Oda. Based on his name and looks, he seems to be a Japanese-American citizen or half Japanese, half American. 
Finally, we get a look at the asylum in broad daylight. This is likely the prologue section of the game, since during the prologue, Sebastian finds tons of dead bodies, from doctors to his fellow cops, inside the asylum. And it's broad daylight, come on, no way we'd have it that easy halfway through the game. And finally, here's a photo of a page from Famitsu. We can see Sebastian using a stealth approach, while Vault Head here looks for a friend to uh, play with. And that is all the information I have for you guys for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on The Evil Within, be sure to join the nation and subscribe to Young Gear. I also cover other AAA franchises and review them. Also, look forward to my game cinema, such as the upcoming Skyrim movie Dragonborn, coming on summer of 2013. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much, and Young Gout!